Hello. Welcome to your weather for the week ahead from the Met Office. Now, there are signs of some drier weather towards the end of the week. But as you can probably tell, we are in for some lively weather before that. Plenty of heavy showers around over the next few days. and The potential for some thunderstorms, especially on Tuesday night and into Wednesday. More on that in a moment, because, as I said, overall, towards the end of the week, there are some signs that it might start to turn at least a little bit drier and a little bit sunnier. Now, for that, we need high pressure to be in charge. And this, at the moment, is how the pressure maps are looking for Saturday. But let's rewind and go through the rest of the week, because for most of this week, low pressure will be controlling things, bringing those showers. In particular, we need to keep our eyes on this area of low pressure pushing up towards the UK at the moment. Right now, we've got low pressure, different low pressure to the north of the UK and this weather front dangling across the country, bringing a fair bit of cloud around on Tuesday morning across central areas. But some places starting sunny. But here comes the first batch of showery rain across the south. Some heavier bursts in that across the Midlands, East Anglia and the southeast. Further north, well, actually fewer showers on Tuesday across Scotland and Northern Ireland and a bit more in the way of sunshine, particularly over northern England. Temperature-wise, well, nothing too spectacular. We're probably seeing highs in the high teens, maybe up to 20 or 21 in one or two spots. But the wind's a bit lighter on Tuesday, so perhaps feeling a bit warmer than Monday. However, it's later on Tuesday that we're a bit worried about things coming up from the south. Some heavy, thundery showers likely to break out across the English Channel and spread northwards across parts of the Midlands and the eastern side of England. Now, they'll be hit and miss. Not everywhere are going to see these downpours, but they could cause some problems, particularly after all the wet weather of last week across these eastern areas. Certainly where we catch these thundery downpours, the roads will be fairly treacherous, a lot of spray and surface water around, and there could be some flooding, as I said, particularly because of all the wet weather we had last week and the ground is very soggy at the moment. So the potential for some travel disruption, this is on Tuesday evening, and into Wednesday across those eastern areas. It doesn't look much on the pressure pattern, but it's this sort of set of weather fronts just moving northwards through uh, Tuesday night and into Wednesday that could cause those problems. As that low starts to pull away, well, we could see some further heavy thundery showers across eastern areas later on on Wednesday. So that warning is in force for Tuesday night and all of Wednesday. For the west, well, again, it's back to that mixture of sunshine and showers, but Probably not too many showers over southwest England, south Wales. Decent chance of some sunshine here. And again, look at those temperatures around or still below average for this time of uh, mid-June. Looking ahead to Thursday, it looks a bit drier across eastern areas. Again, it's basically sunshine and showers, but most of the showers on Thursday will be across Scotland and Northern Ireland again. They'll be more scattered across England and Wales, so a better chance of, again, seeing some sunny spells. And again, that means temperatures could get into the high teens or low 20s, but where we see the frequent heavy showers across Scotland and Northern Ireland, temperatures only 13 or 14 at best for many. Now, by the time we get to Friday, we start to see the influence of the high pressure trying to build up from the south. If this moves in, then that means drier weather is likely through Friday and into the weekend. There is some uncertainty, it has to be said, but at the moment, we're not expecting as many showers. Certainly for England and Wales, large parts of the day will be dry. But again, closer to low pressure, there will still be showers across Scotland and Northern Ireland at this stage. And again... Well, for uh, 21st of June, the longest day, these temperatures are below average, 14 to maybe 17, 18 Celsius. Now, don't forget, because the sun is strong at this time of year, a bit of sunshine could lift those temperatures a bit higher. We'll feel warmer in the sunny spells, but uh, no really hot spell of weather on the way. In fact, the mornings later this week look distinctly chilly under this influence of high pressure, which controls our weather, it looks like, into the weekend. So it will, I think, be dominant into Saturday, but notice weather fronts aren't too far away. So although this high looks like building in and bringing some fine weather towards the end of the week, it may not last all that long. At the moment, and this is a few days away, so make sure you stay up to date with the latest. Uh, the weekend looks like it could start fine, a bit chilly in the mornings, but mostly fine on Saturday with some sunshine, and then the showers may return through Sunday and into the early part of next week. That's a long way off, though. Make sure you stay up to date with the very latest. The best way to do that is to follow us on social media.